The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, Ja Azo? Back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there today. So I want to talk about three kinds of people you should avoid as the chosen one. All right. First person or people in your life you should watch out for is the people who constantly drain your energy. You know, the people that come to you all the time with drama, complaining, problems and issues and stuff like that. You got to watch out for them. Like I tell y'all, you want to talk to those people about solutions. When they come to you with their problems or issues, relationship drama or job issues, ask them about solutions. That way they're not constantly draining your energy every time you speak to them. When y'all get off the phone or go y'all separate ways, y'all should have discussed some solutions. That way you're not taking their baggage with you and that draining your energy. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking their problems with you and that draining your energy. All right? Now, also you got people in your life who will drain your energy just to drain your energy. Planes loud today sound super close and loud but yeah some people will drain your energy just to drain your energy just because they see you happy enjoying life or maybe you just optimistic you've been very optimistic lately they will drain your energy just to drain your energy bro like they say misery loves company is very true bro if somebody hates their life they ain't doing nothing to better their life they're not happy with life bro and they see you over here, you know what I'm saying, income increasing, nice relationship, you on your purpose. They will drain your energy just to make themselves feel better. So be aware of those people, y'all. People that come to you with their problems and energy, I mean problems and drama to drain your energy. And other people will drain your energy just to drain your energy, all right? Be aware about that, y'all. And to be real with y'all, like, I had many people like that in my past. And if I still had those people in my life... I wouldn't be able to put out as much positive and uplifting high vibrational content as I do now. If I still had those people in my life, you know what I'm saying? They'll constantly be draining my energy, you know what I'm saying? And it will rub off of my videos, you know? So you might have some people in your life that's draining your energy and they may hold you back from living in your purpose, bruh. Doing what you came here to do, you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind, y'all. So the next person or kind of people you should watch out for and avoid, if possible, are the small-minded people. So like I talked about before, many of us want to leave a big impact on our family, maybe our community, or the world, bruh. So when you start talking about, you know what I'm saying, the legacy you want to live, leave, and live, and, you know what I'm saying, things you want to accomplish, places you want to go, things you want to have some people are not going to be able to grasp that right they're not going to be able to grasp that or understand that bro they're not going to get your point of view bro because they think being successful being financially free leaving a legacy those type of things they think that's luck they think that's by chance you know what i'm saying they think lebron james became who he is by chance he was dealt the right card yeah he was dealt his height but he still had to believe in himself and take take action and work hard to get where he is now. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't understand that, that what you believe and work hard for you can achieve. So be aware about that. They will talk you out of your potential. You know what I'm saying? You want to leave an impact on the world. Maybe with music, maybe with speaking, or maybe you just want to be financially free and help out the next generation so they don't got to struggle and be poor and stuff like that. They won't believe it's possible. Their limits and beliefs will show and they may talk you out of it. They will talk you out of your potential. So be aware of the small-minded people, bro. You might want to get a boat one day or a lake house. You talk about that, talk about that with them, they're going to be like, they're going to laugh at you. A lake house, boy, who you think you is? Who you think you is, Jeff Bezos, you know? They gonna talk you out of it, make you seem like you crazy. 
for having big dreams, bro. They're gonna make it seem like you crazy for having big dreams. But one quote I always keep in mind is, we are all self-made, but only the successful people will admit it. So people who's not who's not living a best life or fulfilling life, bro, they're not gonna take the blame for that. And they don't, and because they don't take the blame for it or accountability for it, they can never make the changes needed to live a better life. All right, so just keep that in mind, y'all. Small-minded people will talk you out of your goals and dreams, and they think they know your potential. They don't know your potential. They do not know your potential, bro. You know your potential. You know you came here to leave, it, leave an impact on many people's lives, so do that. Let them small-minded people be small-minded. Hopefully, you inspire them. All right? Third kinds of people you should watch out for are the people who are not happy to see you grow. They're not happy to see you make changes that will help you grow. For example, when I quit smoking weed, right? Some people never told me I'm proud of you or encouraged me on the journey, even though that was a big change for me. Nobody, a lot of people never said that. But some people went out their way to say, we always smoke together, bruh. We always smoke together, bruh. This is our thing. You know, we always smoke together for cookouts. We always smoke together for football Sunday. We always smoke together on Thanksgiving. Basically, bruh, they just pointing out the negative aspects of me quitting weed. They ain't saying no positive um, things that come from me quitting weed. You know what I'm saying? They just they point out all the negative aspects of me quitting weed. It made me think like, dang, bruh, you making it seem like it's really a bad change I'm making. You know? But... Yeah, they just point out the negative side of the changes that you want to make to help you grow. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, say you want to start loving yourself more and you practicing affirmations now. They say something like, you talk to yourself? <laughs> you weird, bro. Who talk to themselves? You know what I'm saying? Make you seem, make it seem like you're doing a bad thing by, doing, by, by making changes, starting something new to help you grow. They'll make it seem like a bad thing, bro. Real live, bro. Real live. You might want to start working out, but y'all always play the game, man. Like, you want to start working out, and they'll say something like, bro, we well, always play the game, bro. What you mean you want to go work out? What you mean you want to go for a walk or go for a run? We always play the game, bro. Basically, bro, they'll make you feel bad for making changes to help you grow. Just like that. They'll make you feel bad for making changes that will help you grow. So be aware of those people, bro. They're not used to seeing change and growth and evolving. They used to being the same and staying stagnant in life. But we got to constantly, we know life is not about that. Life is about growing, evolving, making the changes necessary to reach the next level. Some people don't understand that, bro. So be aware of those people, bro. Be aware of those people. If you know you got to make a change, start meditating, start practicing affirmations, start working out, or start a business or something like that, bro. Do it, bruh. Don't let them people who never change, bruh. I wish I could show y'all that right now, bruh. It's a hawk chasing a squirrel. I ain't never seen nothing like that, bruh. He ain't even get him, no. That was some crazy stuff. I'm telling y'all, that was crazy. The hawk over there. He was just chasing a squirrel through the parking lot, bruh. That was some crazy stuff. Hey. All right, y'all. But like I was saying, man, um, yeah, the third kind of person you should watch out for and avoid, if possible, are the people that's not happy to see you make changes that will help you grow. Some people feel like you're supposed to be the same from the point they knew you till y'all die. They don't believe in making changes, growing. You might want to move to a new city or state or whatever, and they're going to say stuff like, bro, why are you going to Virginia? You know what I'm saying? Why are you going to Virginia? You could just stay right here in the O. <laughs> That's personal right there, but yeah, um, yeah, you might want to make some changes to help you grow, and they'll make you seem, they'll make it seem bad that you're making those changes to grow. So be aware of those people. Like I said, the first type of person, the people that drain your energy, come to you with problems, issues, or maybe they drain your energy just to drain your energy. Be aware of those people and make sure you talk about solutions. When people come to you, obviously you're probably a leader and the people in your life you're probably a leader to people in your life so they're gonna come to you for advice and you know problems issues just make sure you are discussing solutions don't let them drain your energy with all their baggage all right second person to watch out for be aware of are the small-minded people you start talking about things you want to do 
places you want to go, things you want to accomplish, and they start saying it ain't possible or just saying things like, you think you can do that? They start telling you the odds or the chances of you actually living that life. You don't need them, bro. They're small-minded. You will inspire them on the way, hopefully. All right? Third kind of person you want to watch out for are the people who do not like to see changes. They think you're supposed to stay the same from the beginning to the end. They don't believe in growth, evolving, trying new things, stepping out your comfort zone. They don't, they don't, they don't do that. They don't believe in none of that, bro. So be aware of those people because they will hold you back from making the changes you need to make to help you grow. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me know your experience dealing with any of these type of people. Yeah, share this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace out, y'all.